Hi entrepreneurs, today's lecture is about Japanese tax. How much, what kind of the tax you have to pay in Japan if you start a business? There's so many taxes in Japan, but they can be separated into the two types. The one is the income taxes, which is based on your income, like revenue minus expenses. The other types of the tax is uh, non-income taxes which is based on your transaction volume or you know the scale of the companies. Let me briefly explain you one by one. What are the you know uh, the first uh, I talk about uh, income taxes. What are corporate taxes? When you you know talk about the corporate tax mean uh, tax in Japan, it usually includes a variety of the taxes. Like Corporate taxes, uh, local uh, local corporate taxes, and inhabitant taxes, enterprise taxes, and special corporate local taxes. We calculated these uh, you know taxes all together and make a financial uh, make a you know tax return at the same time and submit it to the tax office or world office at the same time. So they are all combined. The corporate tax income taxes that is the main tax you pay to the to the Japan, which is based on the taxable income and multiplied by 23.4% per, right now. And there is a local corporate tax, uh, which is calculated by the corporate tax multiplied by 4.4%. And the other one is inhabitant tax. This is calculated by the corporate tax multiplied by certain percentage. And enterprise tax is based on the taxable incomes, and special corporate tax, corporate local tax is based on the amount of the enterprise tax, not the taxable income, not corporate tax amount. So those two types of the you no know, taxes are national tax, so the same tax rate in all places, and. The rest of the tax is a local taxes. So if you have the branches, you have to pay the taxes over there, and also you are at the, your headquarters. And because it's a local taxes, you know, the tax rate is is becoming different depending on which city you're located. But but only through a very small you know percentage. So. What is the income tax rate in Japan? This uh, tax rate is for the you know small and medium sized company, uh, which means your paying your capital amount is you know less than the one uh, less than the uh, hundred uh, million Japanese yen. You have to pay the corporate tax and uh, you know local uh, corporate tax, inhabitant tax, enterprise tax, and special uh, lo uh, corporate tax, it's all together, the tax rate is, you know, 37% uh, if your income is above, uh, you know, uh, 8, uh, if your taxable income is above 8 million Japanese yen, so, but I have to, you know, uh, talk about more detail because it's kind of complicated because I say you know there if your taxable income is less than the 4 million Japanese yen you know uh, nominal tax rate is only 22.5 percent and if your income is you know if your corporate taxable income is 4 million to 8 million Japanese yen you know as the enterprise tax rate is going up. Your, you know, nominal tax rate will increase to twenty-four point nine percent. And if your, you know, taxable income is more than eight million Japanese yen, your nominal tax rate will be thirty-seven percent because your corporate tax rate will increase to twenty-three point four percent. So, for example, your taxable income is, you know, uh. 15 uh, million Japanese yen 
the first, your, in, your taxable income, less than 4 million Japanese yen, will be calculated at 22.5% of the tax rate. And, here's the point, your income is between the 8 million Japanese yen and 4 million Japanese yen. That portion is you know, uh, calculated at 24.9%. 24 like this rate and then the you know the amount your taxable income only exceeding the 8 million Japanese yen will be calculated at the 37% tax rate so it's not like if your income is you know uh, start exceeding the 8 million Japanese yen the the high tax rate will be applied to all your income it, it's not it's not like that even though if your income is exceeding the 8 million Japanese yen, your income uh, with the your income portion less than the 8 million will be still, you know, uh, calculated at the lower tax rate. And I talk about the effective tax rate uh, because in the Japanese tax rule, uh, enterprise tax is, you know, deductible when it's paid. On the other hand, it's different from the corporate tax. Corporate tax or the other taxes is not deductible expense at the payment. So, as uh, enterprise tax is deductible, I divide you know the nominal tax rate uh, by the you know enterprise tax rate to calculate the effective tax rate. So let's talk about non-income taxes. Non-income tax is not, you know, uh, the tax based on your income. It's depending on your transaction volume or size of the, you know, economical scale of your companies. For example, the most popular, uh, most common tax is consumption tax, which is, you know, taxable sales uh, minus, uh, you know, taxable purchase multiplied by the eight percent. It's like a VAT, and the other one is custom duties. Uh, custom duty is the taxes on the import when you import a good from outside Japan to the Japan to inside Japan. You have to pay the tax at the custom, but uh, the tax rate is very different depending on what kind of the product uh, you you are importing. So. You know, custom duty is is waived uh, for the electronic product because Japan is kind of competitive for the to making the electronic product or cars. So custom duty cu custom duty rate is very low, but on the other hand, the uh, you know custom duty tax rate is high for the agricultural product. The other you know tax the next tax is a large scale business tax. So large scale business tax is a taxes for the large corporation is levied based on your you know uh, size of the company like a total salary payment or amount of the net interest payment and also the amount of the rent net rent payment but the tax rate is kind of low because I mean you know for your salary uh, net interest payment and net rent payment its tax rate is only you know zero point five oh four percent and for your capital amount uh, tax rate is only point twenty one percent and by the way this tax uh, this large scale business tax is levied uh, if only if your company is paid in cap I mean, if you your company is paid in capital is is more than 100 million Japanese yen. The next one is business premise tax. It's levied on your, you know, scale of the companies. Like if your business spaces, like like your office space, is exceeding the thousand, I mean, square meters. That for each square meters, a 600 Japanese yen is levied uh, as the tax and also if your number of the company is exceeding more uh, 100 you know uh, you have total salary payment multiplied by 20.25 percent is levied as a as a business premises tax the next one is real estate acquisition tax if you purchase the real estate in japan you have to pay the tax for it 
For example, if you purchase uh, the land, residential houses, you know, you have to pay the tax of tax basis multiplied by three percent. And if you purchase a non-residential, uh, you know, real non-residential house, you have to pay the four percent of the tax. And the next one is fixed asset tax. Uh, this is a tax for the land or buildings and the tax rate is 1.4%. Uh, if you own the house, um, if you own the you know, land or building as of January 1st, you have to pay this tax. Next one is similar to the fixed asset tax, but uh, that's for the depreciable asset tax. This is the tax for depreci depreciable asset like the asset like uh, the machinery or equipment equipment or any devices like a p personal computers they are depreciate depreciable asset so you have to pay the depreciable asset tax on these you know like the depreciable asset the and the tax rate is only 1.4 percent and the other one the next one is a uh, registration tax which is the tax on the registry, like if you buy the land or real estate or if you establish the company, you have to, you know, register those uh, information to the legal affairs of the bureaus and you have to pay the tax for it. For example, like if you establish the Kabushiki Gaisha, which is the most popular form of the company in Japan, you have to pay the you know, 150,000 of uh, re uh, registry tax. But on the other hand, if you establish the Godo Gaisha, you only pay like 60,000 Japanese yen for the registration tax. So that's why establishing the GK, Godo Gaisha, is a way cheaper than establishing the Kabushiki Gaisha. And next one is a stamp duty. This is a tax when you make some kind of the document or a contract. Like if you, you know, uh, prepare the sales contract of the real estate or loan contract or a service contract like asking the tax accountant to do anything you know you have to uh, put uh, put a stamp on it and it the stamp of duty is taxed on that contract and also if you you know make the bill of the receipt the receipt for the amount exceeding the 50,000 Japanese yen, you have to pay the stamp duty on it. As I explained, uh, there's so many taxes existing in Japan and it's very difficult to know everything. So please contact your tax accountant and ask them to do it and save your tax and save your time. See you next time. I'm giving you the useful information about the business in Japan. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time.